Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In this project, we will build an IoT based AC energy meter. As you can see, this web page is based on a local web server. The web page is able to display the value of voltage, current, power, energy, frequency, and power factor. For the energy monitoring part, we are using the PZEM004T AC energy meter module. This module is based on Modbus RTU and can easily communicate over RS-485 protocol. I will explain about PZEM0040 module in detail later on. For this project, initially I tested the module with Arduino and displayed the energy meter data on the LCD screen. Later, I decided to make it on IoT based project. Therefore, I chose ESP32 Wi-Fi based microcontroller for the applications. In this video, I will show you how you can do the hardware setup and then write some Arduino C++ code to communicate between PZEM004T and ESP32. Later, we will further modify the code using ESP Async web server and Async TCP library to create an AJAX based web server which means you don't need to refresh the web page to observe the data. The data will be updated automatically. So let's get started with today's video. Welcome back again. Let's first see what are the components needed to build this project. First, we need an ESP32 Wi-Fi microcontroller. You can choose any ESP32 board. Then we need a PZEM0040 multifunction AC digital meter. Along with the module, we also need a current transformer. It could be either open CT or a closed CT. You need a few electric wires for connection as well. Also, make sure to have some electric load for testing. In my case, I will use an electric bulb. Let's take a detailed look at the PZEM0040 module first. The PZEM0040 is a compact single phase AC power monitoring module designed to measure electrical parameters such as voltage from 80 to 260 volt, current up to 100A via external CT, active power, energy consumption, frequency, and power factor. It communicates via Modbus RTU protocol over TTL serial, making it easy to interface with microcontrollers like Arduino or ESP32. With built-in galvanic isolation and a non-invasive current transformer, it prioritizes safety. One thing to notice, the PZEM0040 is available as version 1.0 and version 3.0. We recommend you to buy the version 3.0 as it's the latest and the most accurate. The previous module has some design and reading issues. There are two different versions of the current transformer available for this module. One is an open CT, another is a closed CT. Both closed CT and open CT are 100 ampere current transformers compatible with the PZEM0040 module. You can use any of these. In my case, I am using an open CT. Regarding the communication part, it works on Modbus RTU protocol. If you go through the manufacturer documentation, you will find it has a physical layer protocol, then an application layer protocol. It has a registered address where we can send some inquiry to get the readings. The readings can be converted into a readable format using the method mentioned in the data sheet. Upon receiving the data, the register stores seven different parameters which require bit shift operations to get the required reading. For details about communication, you can learn more about Modbus RTU protocol in one of our previous videos. Now, before interfacing the module directly with ESP32, I want to test it with Arduino. I connected the module with Arduino based on this diagram and used an example code from one of the libraries and uploaded it to the Arduino Nano board. I also connected the load and both the live and neutral wire to the module. Here on the serial monitor, you can see the data of voltage, current, power, energy, frequency and power factor. This data look absolutely correct. 
I then added a 16 cross 2 I square C LCD display to the previous circuit. Then I modified the sketch again. Then the code was again uploaded to the Arduino Nano board. So you can see now the voltage and current value being displayed. Then the energy and power. Finally, frequency and power factor. So this works perfectly with Arduino. But our main concern is the ESP32 board as we want this project to be based on the Internet of Things. Here is the circuit diagram for this project. I have connected the PZEM0040 with ESP32 via hardware serial 2. Once the hardware connection is done, you can move to the programming part. Here, we used ESP32 Wi-Fi library along with the ESP Async Web Server library and Async TCP library. Enter your Wi-Fi credentials here. We define the TX and RX pins for hardware serial here. In this index HTML part, we are creating a web page for the web server. In this part, we also use a custom CSS to display the page with a beautiful view and stylish format. In this section, a JavaScript file is used for an HTTP request. This section displays the parameters logo along with value and units. Here, we process the data reading and error verification. In the setup part, we check the Wi-Fi communication and if the connection is successful, we create a web server with this JSON data. In the loop part, we are reading the energy meter values from the library. That's all from the coding part. Now, you can upload this code to your ESP32 board. Once the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor. If Wi-Fi gets connected successfully, then it will display the IP address. Copy this IP address and paste it on any web browser. I tried with my PC first. Here, you can see such a beautiful web page with a logo for each parameter. The values are displayed in real time. You don't need to refresh the web page again and again here. The web page data is updated automatically as it's an AJAX based web server. I tried viewing the same web page from my tab. It's great to watch it in real time update. Similarly, the same data is uploaded on the web server viewed from my mobile phone as well. For the testing part, I am using an electric bulb here. You may use any other AC appliances as this current sensor can measure the current up to 100 amperes. Well, that's all from the video part. The complete written tutorial for this project is uploaded on How to Electronics website article. The article has all the details and instructions along with sensor details, circuit diagram, source code or program, and all the result and test demo. You can follow it. The link is given in the description. For now, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next